Hello everyone, it's Pat at Beads and Plenty More, and today I'm going to show you how to make this necklace. It's uh, made up with the colors the black and the gold and the silver and a nice leaf toggle here that fits, sits at the front. And of course that makes it very, very easy to put on. And with these colors you can wear it with almost anything. We've, uh, I've made a pair of earrings that will also go with this necklace, so it makes a nice set. And we've put together a kit so that you can buy the whole uh, outfit together and uh, make it up yourself. So there'll be a link on the website as to how to reach the um, item to buy the kit. Okay, let's get started. So we worked with four millimeter gold and five millimeter silver, and then an eight millimeter uh, onyx is my black beads here. And then the two big ones that are down by the uh, clasp are 12 millimeter, uh, also onyx. I used a seven strand tiger wire, beetle on tiger wire at 0 0.018. So we used, uh, and I used the uh, wire guardian to start with. So I've cut 0.7 of um, my tiger wire and I'm going to feed it onto this uh, little wire guardian here to start. Go in one side, feed it through and out the other side here. Oh yes, and I need to have one crimp bead on before I start too, so it can go on the other end. If you forget to put the crimp bead on, you can always add it on like that. Okay, so now I'm not gonna put the crimp bead onto both of these lines right away because I'm going to hook the clasp on. So here's my, one part of the toggle clasp. Bring this up so that it goes in between the um, two pieces of the wire guardian. And at this point, I'm going to put the both strands through on the crimp bead. Now, we wanna make sure these uh, two lines of tiger wire sit parallel. We don't want them crossing over, otherwise, it uh, will maybe make the crimp bead weaker and it could break out quite easily. So I'm going to squeeze this a little bit so that it's a little bit closer together, but not too tight because I want it to still have some leeway on here. And then I'm gonna crimp this crimp bead. Now I'm only using one crimp bead because as I go along here, I didn't want two crimp beads to sit right down by my gold clasp since I'm using a silver crimp bead. And uh, I'll put the other crimp bead a little further along. So the start of this pattern is two silver beads. So here's two silver beads to put on right away. And then after I put these two silver beads on, I added the second crimp bead, which will hold my um, wires together quite nicely. So we have the two wires here. We wanna feed everything onto both wires, including the crimp bead, of course. And so I've got those all lined up nicely. I wanna make sure again that I've got these two wires sitting parallel and go in and I'll crimp that crimp bead there. So that should be sufficient to hold my wires really strong. So the next thing that goes is my larger bead with the bead caps. So we used a bead cap and now when you're using a bead cap we have to feed one side on one direction then our bead and the other one goes on the other direction so that it sits on either side of the bead like that. So I'll run these down to the unit here. And again, I'm gonna to have to feed both wires through, keep this nice and tidy. Get this through here. And I should have the second wire coming out here. There we go. So that's the beginning of my unit. And then from then on, I work just two of each of the silver and two of each of the gold with one of the black. So we'll go ahead and go through the whole 
um, necklace. And on the other side, we did another set of the large bead and then a um, wire guardian that goes into this clasp on this side. So I'll just quickly show you how to do the earrings too. They're just a simple earring that goes onto a, a head pin. I've got a whole set here made up that will make a set of earrings. So I used a little shorter a head pin because I didn't really need a real long head pin for this a length of earring. I used one of these little daisy spacers and then the black, oops, come on, daisy spacer and a black bead, another daisy spacer, and then I used one of the silver beads. So this keeps the gold and the silver all working together. So bend this over and we're going to cut the uh, wire so that we just have enough to do a loop. Cut right there. Sometimes it's a good idea to save that little cutoff piece because then you can measure to the other side. And that's not a bad idea instead of having to guess how much. So then we take this and roll it on top into a nice circle. Hook my shepherd hook on and then go ahead and close that little circle. So, and then the second one exactly the same. Okay, I hope you enjoy working with uh, this leaf clasp. This is what I featured the whole necklace on because it was such a pretty clasp. And uh, bye for now.